Hey, sweet babies. What? What's going on? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hey. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Is you looking for me? Hey, Shalom. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm very, very excited about it. Very, very excited. I'ma try not to be, you know, too, too hype or whatever, but I'm real excited to be spending time with my homegirls and allowing y'all to come into it. On Fridays, I do a series called Black Girl Fridays on my channel where I highlight businesses in the beauty space that were created by and for black women. This week, instead of, you know, putting a business on shine, I wanna let black girl unity be on shine. And so I have two of my content creator friends, Alexis and Denise, we got together. We had us a little Zoom party because you know we having this whole social distancing thing going on. You're supposed to be in your house by yourself, minding your business with just people that you live with. Some of y'all been going out party and all this other mess. <sighs> anyway, we got together on Zoom. Alexis picked her favorite shampoo. Denise picked out her favorite conditioner. I did a leave-in and a styler. And together, we wanted to see how these products will work on different hair types, different folks. Child, we just did our hair together with the same products. So with that being said, let's go get this video started. And Let's have a good old time. Come on, girls. Okay, so in case you haven't caught on, all of us are going to be using the same exact products for our wash day. And today we're gonna to be trying one of my favorite products, a staple, if I do say so myself. This is the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate and Repair Shampoo. This is a staple for me, y'all, so. All right, if I don't like it, I'm coming for your neck, okay? okay? Okay, you know, we will read a product, okay? Do y'all wanna fight me? Cause we, we like, <laughs> Do you want to nothing? Okay. Don't wait till but we use the shampoo to first. <laughs> you want to fight? Social distancing. <laughs> can't throw hands from six feet, but I can't throw some water. Let me go with this hair. Bye. Oh. Right. <laughs> Am I gonna be trifling if I just sit here? And... <laughs> yes, that's trifling. Okay. <laughs> So I pop up every so often throughout the video just to kind of help the story flow on a little bit because I want y'all to actually watch the video without skipping through. So because we weren't filming in bathrooms, we had to go our separate ways with our hair and all this other stuff. So we, we got back together. This was our thoughts on the shampoo. Of course, as usual with Shea Moisture, there's no sulfates, no phthalates, no parabens, no propylene glycol, no mineral oil, no animal testing, and no petroleum. It's also color safe for me and Faye. Because uh -huh. Y'all know I got my little fake peekaboo color. Damn, that, that don't count. It don't. It don't count. <laughs> I got my little fake peekaboo color that y'all can't hardly see. And uh, a staple. Y'all gonna love it. And if you don't, like you can catch the, you can catch these hands at any moment. It look like it's moisturizing for real. Uh huh. Because it I mean, is. It's real running. All right, let go. Whoa, wait a minute, but this thing then foamed up already. It sure did. You do not need a lot. It's, this does have some nice little slip on it to be a shampoo. Yeah, it really does. I'm over here making a mess, child. I don't know. I don't know what to do. This is one of the few natural hair products that when they say use a dime size, you can actually use a dime size. Yeah, the lather, the lather is not is not a joke. Yeah, um, ma'am, struggling like. Struggling. <laughs> <laughs> she could take a bubble bath and everything with that. So that's about all I'm gonna show you for the shampoo. Yes, I really was over here struggling with all that foam. I was not expecting that. I got way more shampoo than what was necessary and because I wasn't in the bathroom, baby. So it's everywhere. So we went ahead and rinsed our hair and here were our thoughts. I really did feel like I was in a car wash, just bubbles everywhere. All right, Miss Mamas. Now I will say, I, I, I'll give you your credit, okay? I'll give you your credit. My hair feels clean, but it doesn't feel stripped. Mm -hmm. I will say Alexis won, everybody else zero. Denise, what you think? Well, kudos to Alexis. This was a really nice shampoo. And I also noticed that it was hydrate and repair. So I was wondering like, dang, my curls are defined. It's got that repair in there. So it definitely gave me some definition. My hair is soft, not stripped. It's moisturized like, girl, let me find out Alexis was holding out on us. I don't be lying to y'all most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> so moving on, I picked out the deep conditioner and I picked out the Mayel Babasu Mint Deep Conditioner. This is a staple oldie but goodie. Been using this since I went natural and it has never failed me. Mind you, I have not used it in a while, but I do remember that it was bomb and I don't think one of my girls have used this before. So... Let's see. What that would be me. I'm, I'm new to this. I'm not true to it. I'm new to it. This is a staple for me as well. Gives me a good boost of moisture and protein. The slip. 
Slip is is bomb. Okay. So let's get into this deep conditioner. Y'all know this is our favorite part of wash day. Absolutely, positively. So far, it feels good on my hair. Like it feels like it's moisturizing, even though I just put it on. I like the slip on my fingers. I can feel it already. I mean, I know I got to see what it's like when I rinse it out. But so far, this feels good. Let me put on some mask. And there we go. Well, Faye's done, and Faye's going to reiterate multiple times throughout this that she's bold. <laughs> I'm we just saying. had to bring a variety of links and textures to the group, honey, because yes. we got a variety of people watching us. They got a variety of links of hair, so you know. So I'm gonna let mine sit for about 15 minutes and put a little bit of heat on it and rinse it out. What y'all gonna do? I'm going to put my plastic cap on in my hot head for about 15 minutes and let this thing marinate. I'm also going to put on a plastic cap. I'm probably going to sit under my hooded dryer for about 15 minutes. And that's that on it. So as you can see, the Babasu and Mint conditioner was already a staple to the other girls. It was just new to me. I had never used it. And for me, my L as a brand has been really hit and miss with me. I hadn't found the product that I was in love with. I found things that I liked, but I hadn't found anything that I was in love with. But this was my first time using it that conditioner and honey here were my thoughts all right okay. y'all so we rinsed out our hair and i will honestly say so far denise did her thing with rinsing my hair i feel so much look so much moisture and i was able to fully detangle my hair without a leave-in like i just ran my comb through it that's just how much slip it had so i can say I am now a believer in my L. See, I'm glad my girl Faye liked it because this is definitely a staple in my regimen. If y'all look at my curls, they are popping, they are soft, they are moisturized. So, honey, this one ain't going nowhere. And honestly, you all know I have my little fake pop of color on both sides wow. where it's... <laughs> where it's <laughs> where it's bleached so it's always good to give me a nice healthy moisture protein balance and that my L deep conditioner always does it for me look at the come on elasticity like come on elasticity that conditioner from my L was so freaking amazing i'm definitely going to repurchase it it honestly was one of the best conditioners that i've used in a while they were by swimming has made a believer out of me so let's go ahead skip right on through all our rambling and talking and go to the leave-in so i'm the one to pick this leave-in i will say now listen listen to me it is amazing however the smell it is too much okay so it has black human seed and if you know anything about black human seed black sea oil or something like that it has a very distinct smell and y'all know how i feel about smells on my channel y'all know how i am however this product is so good that i can get past the funk of forty thousand years okay this feels so amazing so much slip it has so much moisture i learned about this because i was subscribed to alexis and i saw her reviewers and i was just like oh let's try it and she hit it out the park so i know this is denise's first time using it I'm hoping she loves it too. So Alexis and I both have full reviews on the Carol Daughters Goddess Strength products on our channels. I'll leave a link in the description box. I'm lying because I know I'm going to forget. I will not leave a link. Go search for it. Because we have full reviews already, I won't leave a lot of talking about the product. I'll just zoom right to Denise's reaction because this is actually her first time using it. So I want to see what a first timer has to say about this product. Come on, Denise. So this is my hair with the leave-in. I mean, curls is popping. Um, and... I might be going out on a limb here, but the girls that don't like silicones, I bet your favorite leave-in might not be better than this one, because this one off rip feels good. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and watch y'all. I'm bald-headed. <laughs> so the verdict was in. She loved it. And to my silicone sensitive ones, we were just joking. We are not advocating for silicones if you don't like it. But the moral of the story is she loved it. So we're going to go ahead and apply some more product, do a little bit more talking. I'll show you probably some bloopers and some extras and stuff at the end if I remember to add it. But let's go on and get to the next product, which I think. Child, I'm getting old. I don't remember. Just keep watching. How do we all have that applied? And so glad that my girl Denise liked it. We're going to be trying out the Talia YG Green Apple and Aloe with Coconut Nutrition Hold Me Down Jelly, Jelly, Gel thing. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, I believe Faye has a video on this. I have a video on mm -hmm. this. Well, I think I did like a black owned something, 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 something. 
and I included this in a curl combination. So I've never actually tried it with this leave-in conditioner, so I'm eager to see how it's going to work with this Carol's Daughter leave-in. The thing I do like, you do have to read the directions because they will literally tell you finger style. Like the tug on it, the way it puts that hold on, you cannot run the comb through it, but it feels good. And I love the fact that it's so scented. Maybe it'll drown out the funk of this leave-in. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> oh, I hope so. I can use it on its own, but I'm gonna put a touch of wet line on it only because with my hair being shorter i need firmer products just to let it last longer like i can use it on its own but i wouldn't get as much work so i'm gonna put just like a teeny bitty bit, bit of wet line on top that makes sense because i remember styling my hair every day when my when i had my gws yes. <laughs> and the truth is i'm tired <laughs> so that's what we did as far as stylists go. We used the Talia widget, topped it with a little bit of wet line. I used more wet line than they did just because I have a TWA. For Denise's definition, you really couldn't see it as much as she was styling because she did a twisting curl. Alexis and I did a wash and go so you can kind of see how our curls were looking. So this is what we were thinking. So yeah, I think I'm going to do a wash and go. Like, look at that already. Mm -hmm. Yes. Are you, I want y'all to get into this. Like, look, I'm not even doing anything and haven't even put the wet line on top. I don't know if y'all can tell, but that definition is crazy. Yeah, it clumped your hair together good. I'm just done. I am just upset. I don't know if y'all can see this, but it is clumping together so good. Ooh, like, I'm just on. loving my hair right now. It's got a little luster to it or whatever. Them yeah. girls are looking good, Alexis. We love that combination. It has so much slip, so much shine, and the wet line gives you so much hold. So let me go ahead and let them explain to you what they were thinking, and then made me back her child. The definition and the shine is unmatched. I feel like I'm gonna really like this combo. I still have volume too because I didn't go in like real heavy with the wet line. So I think this is gonna be a hit. Like this might, this might be my best wash and go. TBH. Yeah, I feel like the combination was good. My hair feel good. It feel moisturized. I could finger detangle like the whole through the whole process. So I'm liking the combination so far. I think the products we picked was real good. Yeah, you said it. I've, I've been able to rake my fingers through my head like the entire process from the shampoo, the leave-in, the DC, the jelly, and the wet line. Like I haven't even had to pull out my brush at all. Like mm -hmm. just fingers only. So. This I had my three row comb ready. And <laughs> so y'all, we have reached the end. Now the end of the video, just end of this segment. So what I want y'all to do is make sure y'all support my girls. So Alexis link is in my description box. So is Denise's. If you want to see the final result of their hair, see how it turns out, how we end up styling their finished results. Go to their channel. You're not gonna see it here. I know some of y'all gonna get an attitude. I know, I just don't care. Go to their channel, watch their video, and then continue watching here. You'll see my final results. And if you haven't guessed, these are actually my final results. And this is actually like day two or three. I slept on it and some of everything and my curls have still held up. And if you know anything about Tinny Winnie Afros, sometimes the hairstyles don't last as long, but my hair has so much hold. The wet line gave me the nice hold. The Talia Wajid gave me the style. Just like this whole product selection. I think the girls did a really good job. They introduced me to some stuff that I liked. I mean, everything. Everything I loved, and y'all know I jokingly call my L the great value main choice. I don't mean it as no shade, but I just I'm critical of them sometimes just because I have high expectations because so many people rave about it, and I hadn't found anything for me that I wanted to rave about, but I officially have that. I really want to try the rest of the Babasu and Mint line. I may do it on a video with you all, but I really enjoyed that. I was really the most impressed by the deep conditioner. So shout out to Denise for introducing me to that. So with that being said, that's all we have to say we love the combinations make sure you go watch my girls videos i really love them if you support me support them they are my girls like for real i love me some denise and alexa so with that being said i'm gonna get on out of here bye honey bye Peace.